sometimes when the world because we don't feel like we're the only ones dealing with this now. We're not. This, this has been dealt with before. The last bit I want to share with you before I move to my next section, inshallah, and then I conclude, is uh, one of the great expressions of sadness in the Quran. I actually use this just humorously. I used this with my students the other day. My students get a lot of exams. I give a lot of tough exams. And every time I announce, okay, there's a big one tomorrow. No. <sighs> you know? Oh, we just had one yesterday. It's not only having another one tomorrow. Come on. I was like, let me tell you something. So the Battle of Uhud. <laughs> Here you go. He's going to religiously justify the exam again. <laughs> but in the Battle of Uhud, the Muslims suffered tremendously. There was the sadness of the, 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 the lack of discipline. There was the sadness of the loss of strategic, Muslim, very important Muslim leaders, 70 of them. There was the sadness of the alleged, the rumor spreading that the Prophet's been killed. There was the Allah. There was the sadness of him losing his tooth and actually falling unconscious. There was the humiliating sadness of the Muslims having to retreat up a mountain. There were sadnesses piled one on top of the other. And things weren't looking like they were getting any better. Which kind of sadness is it when things don't look like they're going to get better? Which one is, oh, oh, this was your test. And you have, unfortunately, come on, give me, give me. Brothers, things aren't going to get better. Um, um, clouds ain't going away. Bad things are gonna happen. Allah says, "Fa'asabakum ghamman bi ghammin." I I hit you. I targeted you with gham after gham. I targeted you with gham upon gham upon gham upon gham upon gham. Why? Likaida taqsaw ala ma fatakum. So you stop worrying so much. So you don't. You stop worrying about what you lose. You stop becoming sad. That's so the other word for sadness is used now. Right? I said to, to look back and regret. Oh man, this bad thing happens, which means the next bad thing will happen, which means it's a domino effect. Allah says, I gave you so much calamity so you'll learn. So you'll learn not to think that the next, bad, next thing is going to be bad also. Why? Because, and I, this is how I explain it when somebody has one problem, they're depressed. When they have two problems, they're even more depressed. When they have 200 problems, they just go, <laughs> 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 Once you get that many problems, ain't no problem. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Allah says, I hit you with so many problems, so you stop worrying about your problems. So you realize you're not in control of life. And just chill out. Stop trying to control everything. <laughs> so it's one of the last things I wanted to...